Good evening students. We'll move ahead to the structural isomers, taking a functional group as an example. Under the category of structural isomers, I'll be clarifying further more types of isomerisms under this example, where I've taken the molecular formula to be C4H8 and an O. Now, as soon as you see a single O, you start thinking about the possibilities of the functional groups. Could be an aldehyde, could be a ketone, could be an alcohol, could also be an ether, or it could be a combination. Let us take, I start with an aldehyde. If I try out the aldehyde, one, two, three, four carbons, aldehyde is a terminal group, so I put a CHO here, hydrogens to satisfy, CH2, CH2, and my work is complete. Now, this is not the right structure for the given molecular formula. Why so? How many carbons did I want? Four. One, two, three, four. That's fine. How many oxygens? One. That is also fine. Count the hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that done? That's correct. So, the structural formula that I have drawn is fine. A ketone can also be drawn from it because if a double bond O is the way the oxygen has to be, it could be a ketone also because ketone also has a double bond O. Can it be an alcohol? Let's try that out. 1, 2, 3, 4 and an OH. Let's satisfy the hydrogens. 3 here, 2 here, 2 given, 2 more and 2 more. Let's count the carbons. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's correct. Oxygens, 1, that's fine. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 1, 10. But the hydrogens required here are only 8. So this alcohol is not the right structure for the given molecular formula. It has two hydrogens more. Now how can I reduce the two hydrogens and I keep the functional group as alcohol? If I want to remove two hydrogens, I need to introduce a double bond. So what I could do is 1, 2, 3, 4 and that's my OH and I put a double bond at any one of the positions. Let me put it here. If there's a double bond here, now let's satisfy the hydrogens. Two bonds, two hydrogens. Three bonds, only one hydrogen needed. Two bonds, two hydrogens. Two bonds, two hydrogens. Let's count the hydrogens now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Now this looks fine. If I try an ether, two carbons I take on one end and oxygen in between and two carbons on the other end. To satisfy this particular hydrogens of this compound, I need three here, two here, three here and two here. Let's count the hydrogens. How many hydrogens does it come up to? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, this is not acceptable. So we will draw the possible structural formulas from the compound which has a molecular formula of C4, H8 and O. I'll be illustrating it further. Let's take C4, H8 and oxygen. Let us draw the possible structures for this particular given formula. Let me take the first structure as CH3, CH2, CH2, CHO and aldehyde as we had done. The second structure I would still have a double bond O but at the second position. Let me satisfy the hydrogens 3, 2, 3. So this becomes your ketone. This is my aldehyde. This is my ketone coming to the third structure. In the third structure, I am taking it to be aldehyde again, but instead of four carbons in a row, I'm taking three carbons in a row and a methyl here. Something like this, which is again an aldehyde, but there is a branch of your methyl group. Fine. Coming to the fourth category of an example. In the fourth category, I am taking an alcohol with a double bond. One, two, three, four and an OH here. And I would be putting a double bond at this end as I have just done. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. The other option could be I take an alcohol, CH2, one, two. And I take the double bond at the second position. If I one, two, three and a four. And if I take the double bonds at second position, this becomes it. This is CH3. This is a CH. This is a CH.